Hello, welcome back to another episode of Commission Ed. Reed, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about something that maybe isn't super sexy, but frankly, it's really important. We're going to talk about paying benefits because at the end of the day, this is a job and you are going to be compensated. And honestly, it's a really important thing to think about if you're making a career choice. Is it going to be able to allow you to live the lifestyle you want for yourself and those you love? And it's something you have to think about when it's time to separate. It's something you got to talk about. Yeah. But let's be honest, we love talking about money. Who doesn't? Everybody loves money. So let's discuss a little bit about how officers are compensated for their time and the, uh, the capabilities that they provide to the Air Force. There's a, uh, there's a couple of different categories of pay and benefits that we need to in investigate here. The first one is your, your basic pay. Reed, what is base pay? Base pay is essentially the basic amount of money that you're gonna get paid and it's tied directly to the rank or grade that you're filling and how long you've been in the service. And one great thing we should talk about ahead of all this is almost all of this is very easy to find online because we are government employees and we need to have this be out there in order to effectively serve the American people. This is not hidden, it's not secret. It's really easy to look at someone and figure out pretty close what they're making and these charts are available online. We'll put some links in the description below to where you can find all this stuff. But that's generally what what is your base pay. How long have you been in and what is your rank? Yeah, so if you find yourself as someone who is currently investigating joining the Air Force, wanting to serve as an officer, you can get onto these websites and find out within just a couple of dollars exactly what you're going to be paid for, not just at the beginning of your career, but across your entire time in the Air Force. Yeah. Now these pay charts, they do change over time um, because we are servants of the American people. Congress determines how much we're going to get paid. And sometimes in the National Defense Authorization Act, there will be a raise for the members of the military. But sometimes there isn't on the same token. But bottom line, this information is really easy to find. But base pay, rank, and how long you've been in, that's the most basic part of your pay. The next one we're going to talk about is some key allowances that are really important to your compensation package. The first being your basic allowance for housing. Yeah, B B basic allowance for housing or BAH is the amount of money that is provided to you every single month that helps you to offset the cost of finding some sort of accommodation or place to live in the area that you have been assigned. And that is an important thing to understand here, Reed. It offsets the cost, it doesn't cover it. Yes, that's an important part of BAH. Uh, it's written into the law what percentage of your cost it's supposed to cover, and again, that can change. But the bottom line is, it's there to help you because we move a lot, and sometimes we live in expensive places. I'm living in the DC area right now, and so my BAH is a little bit higher than someone who's living in a less expensive area. And that's the key thing we should point out. Your BAH is determined by the zip code of the duty location where you are assigned. Again, we will include in the description down below some links to websites where you can look up to just within a couple of dollars the amount that you could expect to receive in order to help you find housing that is going to take care of you and your family. Something we should point out before we move on from BAH is you will also receive different amounts depending on if you are single or if you are married or have dependents. That's right. The last allowance we're going to talk about in this area is the basic allowance for sustenance. This is essentially to help offset the requirements for feeding yourself. Uh, there's some neat tradition that go on along with this one. Um, one being that officers make more than enlisted. Uh, that's just a fact of, of life. And they get a smaller BAS than our enlisted counterparts do. That's right. It is the norm uh, across the military, not just in the Air Force, that uh, Air Force uh, that that officers are going to be paid more uh, to uh, just in general, but in various other ways, the enlisted re receive greater benefits and allowances, such as the uh, the BAS, and they're given their uniforms, where the officers really have to pay their own way. But that comes with the territory of receiving that higher wage. So now this is where it starts to get complicated, Colin. Right. So those are the three big ones that are really easy to categorize or easy to look up. And here's where it starts getting really complicated. There are allowances for being deployed. 
Are you deployed to a combat zone? Are you getting hazard duty pay? Are you getting flight pay? Are you getting language pay? And the list goes on and on and on. And honestly, there's no way we could cover all of them because I don't even think I know all of them. But someplace that you can find all of these out is at your local finance office. Yep. We highly recommend that you get in touch with your local finance office if you're currently serving, if you're not yet in the, in the military, if you're not yet in the Air Force, you are welcome to send your questions to us and we will do our best to answer them or get in touch with a finance office for you uh, so that we can answer, uh, so, so that we can get you that information. Some other things to think about, uh, there's a lot of financial incentives that come along with service. So these are not things that we can count on or expect, but many businesses and industries across our country have seen fit to offer discounts for members of the military. That's one thing that can come into play. There's a service group life insurance, SGLI, which is a fantastic benefit. You get an incredible rate of life insurance that you just simply couldn't get on the economy. And again, the list goes on. There's a lot of options out there. If you have questions, we're more than happy to answer some of those questions. Reach out to us through our various social media platforms or at Air Force Officer Podcast at gmail.com or get in touch with us through various other ways. We've provided links down in the description below. It's also possible that you are currently working in a finance office. Maybe you are someone who is that, that subject matter expert and you know that some of the things that we, we've said here are incomplete or inaccurate. And we welcome that feedback so that we can make sure that we are providing the most uh, accurate information to uh, everyone here that's listening today. Anything else that we need to add to this, Reed? Yeah, just a couple quick things. So something to always keep in mind as an Air Force officer, you are making more than your enlisted professionals that you work with, sometimes substantially more. And you need to keep that in mind. Uh, as an officer, I find it personally distasteful to hear an officer complain about money when the people working to their right and left are making maybe half as much as they are. You have to keep in mind your surroundings and think about what you're saying. I encourage you to find ways to be generous and on the same side, don't flaunt your wealth. Uh, just, you know, always be aware of where you are and your audience, uh, but think about how you as an officer, you're there to serve. You're, the, you're there to help your folks accomplish the mission. This compensation is there to in order to enable that and to pay you for your time. Just something to think about. Yeah, and I guess the last thing that I would want to add is that the amount that you receive as an officer in the Air Force is substantial. It's not a small amount. You are going to re receive plenty in order to meet your needs, take care of your family, and enjoy the, what the world has to offer. But at the same time, Reed, you ain't gonna be a millionaire. That is for sure. And but that comes along with service. That's something that we want to make sure we advertise, we share, and you put into your calculus as you make a decision if this is a life for you. Uh, and with that, thanks for joining us on this week's episode of Commission Ed.